standard 7 subject maths chapter 4 angles and pairs of angles today we are going to solve practice set 15 but before that let's recall okay you can see the figure here it's an angle so write the name of the angle shown alongside what would you, what would be your answer Yes, angle A, B, C. Write the name of its vertex, point B. Write the name of its arms, ray BA and ray BC. Remember, always start the name of the ray, which are the arms, from the vertex, that is B. BA and BC are the name of its arms. Write the names of the points marked on its arms. So point A, point B and point C are the name of the points marked on the arms of angle A, B, C. So this you already know. The solution, the name of the angle is angle A, B, C. The name of its vertex is point B. The name of its arms are Ray BA and Ray BC. And finally, the names of the points marked on its arms are point A, point B and point C separately. So, you already know this concept about angle, naming it and the arms and the points marked on it. So, today you are going to learn the interior and the exterior of an angle. Look at the figure now. You can see angle PQR. So in the plane of the figure alongside, the group of points like point N, point M, point T, point O, which are not on the arms of the angle, form the interior of the angle PQR and so they are called as points in the interior. So isn't that simple? So let's see what are points in the exterior. The group of points in the plane of the angle like point G, point D, point S, point E which are neither on the arms of the angle nor in its interior form the exterior of the angle. So the points in the exterior of the angle you can see here are point G, point D, point S, point E. Okay, they lie outside the arms of the angles and hence they are called as points in the exterior. Okay, so you have, I hope you have understood what are points in the interior and points in the exterior of an angle. So let us learn more about angles. Today we are going to learn about what are adjacent angles. Look at the angles in the figure alongside. The ray MQ is a common arm of the angles angle BMQ and angle Q QMD while M is their common vertex. Let's have a look one, once again. Angle BMQ and angle QMD have a common vertex M and MQ is the common arm. The interiors of these angles do not have a single common point. So they may be said to be neighboring angles. Such angles are called adjacent angles. So have a look at angle BMQ. It's completely separate. Its interior is completely separate as compared to angle QMD. But they have a common R arm MQ. Hence they are called as adjacent angles. Now adjacent angles have one common arm and the other arms lie on the opposite sides of the common arm. Means here you can see that ray MB and ray MD 
are the other arms of the two angles which lie on the opposite side of the common arm MQ. Okay, they have a common vertex which is M here. Adjacent angles have separate interiors. So if I ask you to paint these two angles into different colors, would you be able to do that? Yes, why not? Angle BMQ, you can paint blue. Angle QMD, you can paint red. So this way we can see the different interiors. In the figure, MB is a common arm of the angle, angle BMD. Look at the bigger angle. Angle BMD and angle BMQ. But you can see that BMQ is lying inside of angle BMD. So can they be called adjacent angles? No. They are not adjacent angles because they do not have separate interiors. So two angles which are coincide, like if a one small angle is coinciding with the other bigger angle, then they cannot be an adjacent angles. Adjacent angles criteria is having one common arm and separate interiors. So, what you have learned now? Yes, now you know that two angles which have a common vertex, common arm and separate interiors are said to be adjacent angles. So, the definition for adjacent angles, try to memorize it. Two angles which have a common vertex, a common arm and separate interiors are said to be adjacent angles. I hope you have followed this concept. So let us now move to practice set 15. Question number 1. Observe the figure and complete the table for angle AWB. The table is given alongside. What is asked? Points in the interior, points in the exterior and points on the arms of the angles. So let's see the first one, points in the interior. Quite simple, we can see point C, point R, point N, point X lie inside the arms of the angles WA and WB. So they are said to be interior points, points in the interior. Points in the exterior. Now let's see points in the exterior. So, now outside the arms of the angles, we can see point T, point U, point Q, point V, point Y. Hence, they are called as points in the exterior. Now, finally, we have to see the points on the arms of the angles. Which are the arms of the angles? Yes, you have to name it starting with the vertex. WA and WB are the arms of the angles. And which all points do you see on them? Point A, point W, point G and point B are the points on the arms of the angles. Question 2. Name the pairs of adjacent angles in the figures below. Okay. Now we have to identify the adjacent angles. So first we will have to select one common arm. We can see three common arms in the first figure. NA is one common arm to two angles. NB is another common arm and NC is the third common arm. So you can name the angles starting from either A or starting from B for NB. Let's start first with arm NB. For arm NB, we can take angle ANB and angle ANC. Okay, so here we are not taking NB but we are taking arm NA into consideration. So the solution says, first answer, let's take arm NA, NA into consideration. So angle ANB and angle A and C forms a pair of adjacent angles which is their common arm NA. Now we will take arm NB. 
So the answer is angle B and C and angle B and A. You can take any angle first B and A and then B and C or vice versa. So B and A and angle B and C are adjacent angles. Now let's take the third common arm that is arm NC and look at the angles which are formed with this ray. Angles A and C and angle B and C where NC is the common arm. You can also name angle A and C as angle C and A. Okay, that is not a problem. So you should get three pairs of adjacent angles as your solution to question number one. Sub question two. Which angles do you see here? Which angles are ad forming adjacent angles? Yes, angle PQR and angle PQT is the only pair of adjacent angles since PQ is the common arm and they have separate interiors as well, not PQ. So be careful, QP is the common arm. Always we have to name an arm with the vertex, starting with vertex. So QP is the common arm and the adjacent angles formed are angle P, Q, R and angle P, Q, T. Okay, let's go to our last question. Question number three. Are the following pairs adjacent angles? If not, state the reason. Now you can see here, there are angles formed by different rays. Okay, so we have to identify the pairs of angles mentioned below as adjacent angles or not adjacent and give reason for the same if they are not adjacent. So first one, angle PMQ. Have a look at angle PMQ in the figure right now. And angle RMQ. What do we see? MQ is the common arm. M is the common vertex. And they have separate interiors. So look at the solution now. Angle PMQ and angle RMQ are adjacent angles. Let's have a look at second pair of angles in the question. Angle RMQ and angle SMR. Let's locate them in the figure. Angle RMQ okay, and angle SMR. Here we can see that angle SMR lies in the interior of angle RMQ. So overlapping angles cannot be adjacent angles. We they need to have separate interiors. So look at the solution. Angle RMQ and angle SMR are not adjacent angles since they do not have separate interiors. Question number three. Angle RMS and angle RMP. Okay. Again. Here, angle RMS lies inside angle RMP. So, they cannot be adjacent angles since the interiors are not separate. So, look at the solution. Angle RMS and angle RMP are not adjacent angles since they do not have separate interiors. Fourth question. Angle SMT and angle RMS. Let's look at the figure. Angle SMT and angle RMS have a common vertex M, have a common arm um, MS and the interiors are also separate. So this fits the criteria for adjacent angles. Hence, we can come to the conclusion that angle SMT and angle RMS are adjacent angles. Students, kindly solve the sums in your book and understand the concept well. So, 
keep learning stay safe and thank you